Welcome to the application delivery how-to series. My name is Pamela Norris, and today we're gonna to be covering how to configure a layer four virtual service in Navi. Now, when we're talking about a layer four virtual service, also known as a VIP, referring to utilizing L4 services, such as the IP address and UDP and TCP ports to make load balancing decisions. This can be a very efficient way to load balance as you, there's no data lookup as there is with L7 virtual services and can be used to load balance a wide variety of traffic, including LDAP, DNS, and even those homegrown applications. Now here we have our Avi controller. As a reminder, your Avi controller is where you're gonna go for all your configuration tasks, orchestration, and overall day-to-day -day management when you're supporting an Avi environment. You may notice that this GUI looks a little different than you're used to, and that's because they updated it within 21.1. Now, when we go in and create a virtual service, and we walk through this process, creating an L4 virtual service is very similar to creating an L7 virtual service. We're gonna click on this blue button up here that says Create Virtual Service, and select Advance. Now, one of the first things we're gonna do is name it. Now, today we're gonna to be walking through configuring a virtual service for the Horizon Blast protocol. So let's name it Horizon Blast. Now we're gonna go ahead and assign an IP address to this virtual service. Now we can see that an IPAM has been already defined in this environment because these two boxes are grayed out. So all we simply have to do is select the network as well as a subnet that we want that IP address to be delegated from. Now we're gonna go ahead and click on the application profile box. And we're gonna see here that we actually have a couple options when dealing with L4. The first one is system SSL. And this is where you're gonna choose if you wanna do SSL offload at the L4 level. The next option is gonna be system L4, and this is just straight for L4 traffic. There's also one that's been defined you to load balance DNS traffic, and you can even start your own from scratch. For purposes of today, let's go ahead and select L4 application. I would highlight also that our for TCP UDP is listening on system TCP proxy. Now, when we go over here to the service port, within Avi, you have the ability to find multiple ports, port ranges, as well as both TCP and UDP for the same VIP or virtual service. So clicking on switch to advanced, for BLAST, we're gonna need to do 8443. We're gonna repeat that step. Only in this case, we're gonna select override TCP UDP, select the drop down, and UDP fast path VDI is what we're gonna select. And all of a sudden, this particular VIP is listening for 8443, both on TCP, which has been defined here, but UDP as well. We're gonna repeat that process for 4172. And uncheck that. Add port, 4172, override TCP, and you guessed it, we're gonna have to need to select UDP fast path VDI. And for BLAST, we're gonna need one more, which is 443, and for BLAST, 443 only needs to listen in on UDP. So we have 8443 listening on both TCP UDP, 4172 listening on both TCP UDP, and 443 listening on UDP only. Now we need to go ahead and set the application servers on the back end for this particular VIP. So we're gonna to go to our pool section, click on the drop down, and we're gonna go ahead and select the Universal Access Gateway Server pool. Click on next. And here on the policies, you can see that even with L4, you do have some ability to configure policies. So clicking on the green plus, you can see you have a couple options to choose from. Let's go ahead and select client IP. And this could be individual IP, it could be ranges, whatever meets your criteria. And we're gonna say, hey, for anything that comes in from this particular IP, go ahead, deny it or rate limit or whatever you need. We don't need to do anything today, so let's go ahead and click on cancel. Click on next. This is where you're gonna set your analytics and log collection. And then for our virtual service, we're gonna to need to set where we want the virtual service to reside. Within Avi, you don't necessarily put it on a pair of individual load balancers, you point it to a pool of load balancers, which Avi refers, refers to as service engines, and you let the controller decide where's the best place to put it. 
click on default SE group, click on save, goes ahead and because those virtual services, the service engines already existed, it went ahead and pushed down the configuration. And we can see right here that we have a happy and healthy virtual service. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other exciting videos in our application and delivery how-to video series.